Krishnaika, welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, this is the 35th tutorial in machine learning, complete machine learning playlist. And as promised you guys, I'll be completing all the machine learning algorithms. There are on some 15 to 20 machine learning algorithms which I'll be completing and uploading in my specific playlist that is called as complete machine learning playlist. Similarly, I have plans to upload the remaining videos in deep learning playlist also. And uh, this was one of the most requests that you wanted the in-depth intuition. The why, why I'm actually uploading this particular videos guys is that to explain you the complete maths, you know, what is the maths behind the machine learning algorithms and some of the machine learning algorithm may go till some, some different parts, you know, this is the part one, suppose in logistic regression I'm planning to complete it in part twos, you know, so part one and part two, in part one and part two, in part one we'll try to understand what exactly is logistic regression, you know, why it is called as logistic regression and in the part two we'll understand the maths behind it, you know, here also we'll be understanding some of the maths. Now this intuition is pretty much important because as you all know that implementation with the help of Python by using libraries like sklearn is pretty much simple. And I've also shown you in many videos how you can actually do hyperparameter optimization and many more things. So it is very very important to understand the maths behind that because that will actually help you in doing the hyperparameter optimization and in the interview right they need they, they will basically ask you the maths behind this particular, particular machine learning algorithm. So in this specific video, we'll try to understand about logistic regression. This will be divided into two parts. This is part one. So make sure that you understand this particular video. Now guys, if you're looking for career transition advice towards data science, please make sure that you watch this particular video till the end because I'm going to share you some of the important things at the end of this particular video. So let us go ahead and try to understand how does logistic regression actually work. Now understand one thing guys. First of all, why this algorithm is actually used. This is a machine learning algorithm. So in logistic regression, it is basically used for binary classification. Now I hope in my tutorial 31st, right, I had actually uploaded videos regarding linear regression and we understood the various metrics like R squared, uh, R squared errors, everything we try to understand in that, right? But in binary classification, now that was a regression kind of problem statement. Logistic regression is basically a binary classification problem statement. But why it is called as a regression? Okay, now see, imp very important thing over here is that let me take a very very simple use case. Now in my y, in my x axis, I have a parameter called as weight. So this is my x value, okay? And this is my y value. So let me just write it down. This is my x, this is my y value. Now, this weight, based on the weight, I am categorizing people into not obese and obese. That basically means that if the weight is more than this particular value, suppose I say that this is, this is somewhere around 75. If it is greater than 75, right, I'm saying that all these particular values becomes obese. That person is actually obese. If it is less than 75, I'm just considering it as not obese, okay? This is the data that set that I'm having, okay? Now, just I'm just taking this as an example, okay? Now, if you want to try to classify this based on weight, suppose tomorrow I have a weight over here, okay? Suppose this is my 80 weight. I should be able to classify whether the person is obese whether, whether the person is not obese, right? So for this, how do we solve it? First of all, let us think over here, okay? Now, as I told you, logistic regression is a classification problem. Now, first of all, and, and the name regression is there, okay? Name regression is there. Can we solve this particular problem statement with the help of linear regression? Now, what is linear regression? Remember, guys, linear regression is nothing but we'll try to draw a straight line such that the distance between these points Right, the summation of the distance between these points and that particular straight line should be minimal. Okay, that is what linear regression is. We have learned that in our previous classes. And that straight line, that plane, is basically denoted as y is equal to mx plus c. It is also denoted by h theta of x is equal to theta 0 plus theta 1 into x. Or it is also denoted by beta 0 plus beta 1 into x. Right, different, different notations are there. And one notation is also something like this, w transpose, uh, multiplied by x plus b is equal to y, right? Now, what does this basically mean? So, this is my slope, okay? These are my data points. C is the intercept, right? This is, this is what we understood in the linear regression, right? These are the basic things that we need to understand, right? And all the explanation is before. Now, based on that, suppose I created my best fit line, which looks something like this. Suppose I created my best fit line, will look something like this, right? Now, understand one thing. When I'm creating this best fit line, 
you know that this is 0 or 1, the middle value is actually 0 0.5. So this is my 0 0.5 value. Now, what I can say is that, suppose I want to check it for 75 kg, what is the output, right? Now, with respect to 75 kg, if I go and point at this particular point, it is somewhere around 0 0.5, right? It is somewhere around 0 0.5. Now, what I can do is that, I can basically write a condition for this S theta of x, which is denoting this particular equation, that is the equation of a straight line. If this value is greater than or equal to 0 0.5, I will consider this as 1. That basically means it will become obese. The person with weight of 75 kg is actually obese. Right? If it is less than 0 0.05, then it will become not obese. So that basically means, suppose if I am considering this weight, 60 kg. And if I just try to populate this, right? Oh, uh, sorry. Over here. So this will be my probability value that I will get. Suppose this is 0 0.3. Right? So it is less than 0.5. So I am going to consider that 60 kg that person is going to become not obese. Right? Pretty much simple. Now, with the help of this straight line, I am able to classify easily. Right? So what is the use of logistic regression? That is the next question that comes up. Right? It is pretty much important to understand. You can see over here, by just creating a straight line. Now, suppose my new data point comes over here. Okay? Sorry for this. Suppose my new data points comes, comes over here. Now I need to find out. I'll just go and connect this particular point. Now it is greater than 0.5. I can definitely say that this person is not obese. Sorry, this person is obese. Suppose if I want to find out a new value over here. I may go over here. I may find out this is my, uh, sorry. It will be negative value, okay. So somewhere over here, it is less than 0.5. So I am going to consider that the person is not obese, right. And this gets extended over here, right guys. So, I can find out this particular point, it will be negative. So, just by considering a straight line, I can solve a classification problem. So, why exactly do we need require logistic regression? Now, understand one thing. Now, suppose I say that there is one more outlier added to it. Suppose my outlier is somewhere here. Just consider this. My outlier has come somewhere here. Right? Now, if I try to create this best fit line once again, what will happen? This best fit line will now change. It will become something like this. Right? Now, this is my new best fit line. S theta of x. Right? S theta of x. This is my new best fit line. But now, understand this problem statement, guys. We know that if the person is greater than 75 kg, we should classify this as obese category. But now... If I go and see my 75% with respect to this best fit line that I have, it is coming somewhere over here, my 0 0.3. Now that basically means that a person with 75 kg, right, is clearly not obese. But this is this was not what the result we actually wanted, right? Because we clearly know that this particular points in my training data is basically having obese category. But just by the inclusion of one outlier, one point, the whole straight line became deviated. Because this is the best fit line. And this is actually computed based on the distance. Right? Now you have understood that because of this, this whole best fit line has changed. And because of that, there is a high error rate. Now because of this, we should not use linear regression for this kind of classification problem. Now this is the major, major problem with linear regression. Because every time we have to create a best fit line based on the data points that we have. And we know clearly that this particular points are obese. But with the help of this best fit line, what has happened? Now, suppose if I take this 0.5, it is pointed over here. I'll draw it over here. Okay. So these all points will get incorrectly classified. Right. So these all points will get correctly classified. That is fine. But these all points will get incorrectly classified which is a very, very big problem over here, right? So because of that, we should never use linear regression for this particular binary classification, okay? Then, what should we do then, right? There is one more problem with linear regression. Now understand over here, guys, suppose my weight is somewhere here and this particular line is getting extended here. Now if I try to find out with respect to this particular weight, what is my value, right? Now the answer is greater than 1. Right? But we have told that 
if the value is greater than 0.5 okay we are going to consider this because the maximum value is 1 right we are going to consider 1 but if it is greater than 1 what do we consider now similarly if it is less than 0.5 suppose this is my point and with respect to this I am extending it downwards right now suppose if I consider this part I try to populate it this is my negative value right now when I have my negative value when it is less than 0 1 is greater than 1 1 is less than 0 what do we consider for that so instead we should try to divide this line like this and this is basically done by a sigmoid function which I will be explaining in my next class because there will be a lot of maths we have just understood why linear regression will not work for this specific problem statement right and it will be interesting guys because I am going to include each and every bit of maths you know in a much more easy way so that you will be able to understand it right so two reasons why linear regression should not be used for this binary classification guys one is that whenever I have a lot of points, a lot of outliers, the best fit line will completely get deviated. The second thing is that whatever output I am getting, most of the time I am getting greater than 1, less than 0. So in order to solve this particular problem, we have to use logistic regression. And logistic regression uses a very very simple concept along with a function which is called a sigmoid function which will squash this straight line. But before squashing, we need to understand how this best fit line. So basically, if I talk about logistic regression, it will create a line which looks like this. But we need to understand how this curve will get created. This curve is pretty much important. What is the math behind this particular curve? We can basically say that this straight line will get created with the equation 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power of minus x, which is also called as a sigmoid function. This is also used in deep learning. But how this particular curve is actually created, that we need to understand. And that we'll try to understand in the next class. So, before ending this particular video, guys, if you're looking for career transition advice towards data science, please make sure that you watch the YouTube channel of Springboard India, because there you'll be able to see talks of real world data scientists who are working in different, different MNCs. The link is basically given in the description of this particular video. So, this is all about this particular video. I hope you like it. Please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all. Bye bye.